Good morning. It is beautiful out. Look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. So we got the truck trailer loaded up. We got a mulch job. Got a got a mow it today as well. Um, got the trailer all cleaned up yesterday. So uh, I think we're ready. Got the wheelbarrow loaded up. Yeah, looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. I'm ready. I'm ready. <coughs> So, uh, so we got a mulch job and uh, got a little bit of tree trimming to do this morning. Got a buddy coming out that does have a uh, license to do tree trimming. So uh, get that taken care of and out of the way. Show you this property when we get there. So guys, let's get the day going. It's gonna be my first actual day of me actually going and loading everything up. So uh, let's get going. I'm excited. All right, guys, so we're here and we've got a lot to do here. So uh, there's a big area over here that we're gonna clean all this stuff out. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Um, then we're gonna mow all this right here make it look pretty uh, we got mulch to do up front we got some tree trimming to do here get some of this stuff cleared out here that it fell and uh, all these branches he's got a place on site to dump all this so uh, we're gonna get some mulch put in here today get this mowed and uh, get that cleaned up over there so <clears throat> let's get some stuff unloaded here we'll get some mowing footage for y'all and uh, show you the aftermath of the mulch and stuff it should be here in a couple hours and uh let's get going with this day so all right guys i want to tell y'all about this because i'm wearing shorts and as you can see it barely got anything on my shorts but uh these things i'm wearing shorts once again the back's breathable on these now you can buy these on amazon as well uh they're called comfort trim and so to keep all the dirt and stuff from getting on your pants or in your shoes these go over your shoes so as you can tell um, I can take this rag right here and literally wipe this off and wipe my shoe off and <clears throat> be done with it. So now I have like new comfort trim and I can pull these off. They're very easy to pull off as well. They have a band that just goes around your leg to go over your boot or your shoe or whatever you're wearing here. And uh, now keep in mind, I wear a size 13 shoe, so they still come off real easy. And then I can just Velcro them here and ta-da. Clean shoes, clean legs, and I ain't gotta worry about it. So uh, absolutely love these things. So I'll, I'll do a video here and tell you a little bit more about them eventually as we go. All right, guys, so all this right here was completely full of stuff. But got all this cleared out here. So uh, every bit of this cleared out nice and pretty. So we put down some uh, fertilizer and stuff he had bought. I had to call for backup on mulch. Um, now the funny thing about this lawn is I told the client that, uh, it was very wet. Um, and he insisted that we still mow. So, uh, take that into consideration before you leave a comment down below of how horrible I did. Uh, because it wasn't really my fault. Um, he wanted it done regardless. So, uh. We also did seven and a half yards of mulch. I had to call for some backup, but uh, you know, we got, got all this pretty much done. All that was mulched over there already, and we added this area. We're finishing up the flower bed here. <coughs> Chad, say hi. Uh, Chad and I, the lawn care guy. And uh, then we gotta finish this up, blow it off. And uh, so yeah, this is probably looks worse than camera but uh it was a nightmare 
absolutely nightmare. Um, but he insisted, and that's what we got. Nothing you can do about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not reliable. Not reliable. Uh, the guy's a good guy, easy to get along with. So I uh, got all this mulched here. Um, I actually got stuck over there. And he said, well, let me mow it. And he took his garden tractor over there and uh, ended up getting stuck three times. So we had to get him out. But uh, at least it was him rutting it up and not me. <clears throat> but the back was real dry. Um, anyway, we're going to see. We got that much left. We still got this much mulch left. Uh, so once this is gone, then we're going to uh, go back over here and see about filling in some of the stuff we did last year that has thinned out over the winter and uh, thicken it up a little bit over there. So uh, here's the back here. Got the back taken care of as well. Uh, looking nice. Looked real nice earlier. But uh, about done here. And yeah, yeah. Been here since nine o'clock this morning. It's now, well, let's see here. Nine o'clock this morning, it is now 727 so we'll be here another another 30 minutes 45 minutes and uh, i still gotta load my mowers and everything up but getting this knocked out getting this done getting it taken care of and moving on so uh that's what we did all day today uh, i got out here realized that i'm gonna need help uh, so i ended up calling for some backup chad came out and helped me and then uh this afternoon uh had jared reach out to me and say hey man if you need any help you know we'll come help you so here he is now uh i'm not sure what's going on with my spreader <clears throat> my spreader's making a weird noise not sure got me on that one hopefully it's something small or i mean we haven't the most i've put in it is 60 pounds uh, and it's an 80 pound spreader so not sure what happened there but uh anyways guys we're going to get this done get this finished up get everything blown off uh get this tarp cleaned up and uh load my equipment up i still got to take it to the to the wash and uh power wash it and other than that i've still got to go home unload and then i've got to start early in the morning so that's going to do it guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you in the next video welcome to day one of my season it has been crazy let's just say that first day has been crazy so see y'all soon